Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How was your Thank day? You. I'm fine. Thank you, Lisette. Um, my day was very, very, como digo, tranquilo. Ah, very relaxing. Very relaxing. Oh, why? Not, not a lot of work today. Uh, no, the first day is a lot vacío, como digo, hay poca gente, em em many, empty, empty, mm -hmm. how was your day? Good, good, 
uh, a little busy, some activities, uh, classes, uh, but nice, a nice afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Diana, how are you? I'm okay. It was um, very easy day. Oh, that's great. It wasn't a lot of work to do. Only the traffic was was very crowded. Crowded. Do you have to drive a lot, Diana? Uh, yes. I, um, yeah, I work in Les Calon and I live in Soyapango, so it's like one one and a half hour in average. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, one and a half hours to Escalon, one and a half hours back. Um, no, because I get out from home early, like six o'clock, and it's not that it's it's not very there there's not very traffic. I get in to my work in forty five minutes. Ah, okay, so forty five minutes, forty five minutes. Not no. no. 45 minutes to go there and one and a half hours to get in here. In the afternoon is a lot of traffic. In the afternoon is a lot of traffic, yes. Okay, I understand. Well, I am glad that you and Lisette connected. I know it's difficult to connect on Fridays because the activity, the family, the last day, but I'm glad, I'm glad you connected. Today, we're going to continue with a new topic. Today, we're going to be looking at the topic of used to, okay? We're going to first read the objectives and then practice using them. So here we have, Lisette, can you please read the objective for today? Okay. Will English conversational skill with the phrase used to which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form a statement negative and short hours with used to learn English phrases like I used to to be very messy when I was a kid. But now I am very net, and I did used to follow with follow poly politics, but now I read a newspaper every day. And oral English compression exercise is included. Okay, good, very good. Thank you so much for reading. As you can see, we're going to use the expression used to. Used, used to. to, it means before yes and now no. This is the idea of used to. When you say used to is before yes and now no. If you use a negative, I didn't used to is before no and now yes. Okay, so they have the opposite ideas. We're going to have, let me put in the chat so that we can have a good idea. So we use used to, okay? okay? Used to. Okay. Look at the idea. When you use in positive, when you use in positive is with a D, used to, okay? When you use in negative, is no D. Okay. Didn't use to is before no and now yes. Used to is before yes and now no. As an example, I used to, I used to watch cartoons is before in the past before yes, but now no more cartoons. Or I didn't used to work 
before not work and now yes this is how we use used to let's watch a small video to have more examples and ideas hi everyone by the end of this class you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to let me give you a couple of examples when i was a kid i used to be very messy but now i'm very neat I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course, I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to okay so I want you to see the examples I used to that means that before you are not organized before is everything is in the garbage in different areas but now you are neat okay if you say I didn't used to this means that before you did not do this action but now you do this is the most important part so when you look at people Maybe you have, for example, the hair, right? Before she didn't, she didn't used to be blonde. This means before no, but now yes. Or she used to be brunette. This means before black hair, but now no. That is the idea for used to, okay? Here we can see some examples. We're going to use the subject, for example, I, the used to, and then the verb, always the verb in present. So I used to is I used to play, I used to work, I used to study, always the verb in present, and then the complement. This means before yes and now no, okay? If you use negative, I didn't used to, it means, or I didn't uh, used to, and then the verb is before you did not do this action. It's okay, the difference? So, so? Teacher, please again. Of course, of course. I'm going to give you some examples. So, before you don't speak English, now yes. So, you say, okay, I didn't used to speak English. Okay, as an example but now I do. So before no English, but now yes, you have English. Or maybe I, in you, for you, I didn't used to study, mm -hmm. but now I have class every day. Another example. So before, no study. And now, yes, because you have class every day. Is the, are these examples okay? Yes, teacher, una consulta. Es necesario el, uh, but now I have, et cetera, et cetera. O puede ser solamente, I didn't use to study, nada más, hasta ahí. Sin el, but now. Ah, yes, yes. It's okay, Mario. Okay, it's no okay. problem. I didn't used to study. Exactly. It's okay. Only, only to there. Okay. Uh huh. Thanks. The extra is the complement, the uh, more information. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we use in positive. So, for example, in positive is I use, I used to. Okay. I used to play soccer, for example, okay? This is one example. This means that before I play, but now no, 
you can make the sentence longer. I used to play soccer, okay? But now I work every, okay? Now I work all the time as an example. So you can have a short, I used to play soccer, or you can have a long, I used to play soccer, but now I work all the time. It's okay, the difference? Yes, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody have any questions? Okay, no questions, then let's begin. We are going to go with our partners to the platform. And the platform is 1.11. In 1.11 with your partner, you are going to read and select the correct use to or which one or answer the question. Okay. So with your partner, 1.11, you select which one is the correct one. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Let's go. Kevin, wow. Welcome to class, Kevin. We are in 1.11 with the partners. Okay, let's check number one. Vanessa, do you want to try number one?
Vanessa? Mi, ¿cómo? Hay otra Vanessa, no sé cuál de. Ah, hay otra Vanessa. Pero yo no sé. No. No, solo yo soy. Yes. <risa> Ay, que ya estaba otro. Por eso. Ah, ok, ok. Ya. Yeah. Go ahead, look at the screen, Vanessa. What is La number primera one? sería Where did Jerry grow up? Grow up? Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Okay. Sería she grew up in Brick, Brickton, Brickton, <laughs> England. Okay. She grew up in Britain, England. No. Number one. La última. Number three. She grew up. Good. Pronunciation. Grew. Grew up. Grew. Correct. Okay. Good. All right. Number two. Lisette, try number two. Lisette Castillo. Mm -hmm. Number two. Jerry used to paint and she still paints today. Okay. Thank you. Diana, number three. Number, number three. This is the best response for this question. What game did you used to play when you were a kid? I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Okay. With D or no, no. no D? No, with D, but the second one. Okay. Because the verb is in present. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Eric, number four. Is what did you used to call it when you were a kid? Seria. Seria. I used to call it comic books when I was a kid. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Good. Mario, Mario, the last one. Okay. My last job was easy and relaxing. I used to work from 9 a.m., 4 p.m., Monday, Friday, and half week enough. Okay. It's the first. Okay. Very nice. It's correct. Look, all of the answers are correct. Very good. Excellent. Now we understand how to make sentences with used to. Is before yes and now no. Didn't used to is before no and now yes. Now we're going to go to the how to make the questions. How to make the questions. Kevin, can you please read how to make the or the objective? Hey, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Eric. Uh, repeat this. That's oh. an objective. Build English conversation, conversational skills with the fry, with with the phrase used to which you can use to describe your childhood or past. Uh, by the end, sorry, by the end of this class, you will be able to form questions, statements, negatives, and short answer with use to learn English phrase like, what sport did you use to play when you were a kid? Did you use to collect things when you were a child? Uh, a child? And what did you use to do for fun when you were a kid? Thank you, Eric, very good. Now we're going to practice the pronunciation. Repeat, phrase. Phrase. Good. 
Childhood. Childhood. Excellent. So now, guys, we are going to use used to, but we are going to use it to make questions. Okay. Now we're going to make questions as an example. What or did? Okay. We're going to use it for questions. Questions with used to. Okay. What is important with used to? We use or we can use WH word, did, you, and look, no D, only with use. No D because the verb is in present. Hi, okay. everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to. So, for example, in the question, did you use to collect things? Or WH, what sports did you use to play? This means before the activity and now no. So, for example, I say, oh, uh, Eric, what movies did you used to watch? Is the movies you watched before, but now no. For example, here, WH, what, okay, what movies did you used to watch? Okay. Eric, what movie did you used to watch? I I watch movie in uh, high school. I, I watch the movie uh, Spider Man. Okay, so for this, the answer we use used to. For example, I, and then we use the answer. I used to watch Spider Man. Okay, and the question the same. You can use WH question, okay? What movie did you used to watch? This is different, okay, than the past, okay? This is different than what movie did you watch? It's not the same. What movie did you watch? It's not the same. What movie did you used to watch, okay? Entienden la diferencia de used to? It's okay the idea used to or no okay? It's okay. Diana, yes. And the others? Yes, no. Los que no les gustan encender la cámara? Yes, it's no. It's okay. It's okay? All right. There we go. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So now we're going to practice making questions. For as one more example, I can tell my partner, oh, uh, when I talk about the childhood, when I talk about la niñez, I say, oh, the childhood. Oh, what games, what games did you used to play? Right? For example, so now we're going to practice with our partner. We are going to practice asking questions with used to and we're going to practice making answers with used to you can be specific for example what sports what movies what activities what video games you can be specific or only general what what okay what did you use to eat what did you use to play okay are you ready to practice Okay, so it's necessary with the partner, five questions I ask my partner with used to and my partner answer. Then my partner, five question and I answer, right? Five and five, five questions, five answers. Then my partner, yes? Okay. Okay. Let's practice one moment.
Okay, let's check. Vanessa Carolina asked Diana a question with used to. Es de, la de las preguntas que están en la plataforma. No, no, the question you invent. Ask the ah, question. Ah, es que eso le había entendido, pues es que eso. Go ahead, you ask Diana. Ay, no le pregunté. What happened, man? No le pregunté nada, que yo pensé que eran las pre contestar las preguntas que estaban en la plataforma. No, Vane. Mm. Por, es bueno preguntar antes para estar segura si tiene alguna duda. No, es que yo sí le había entendido, pero ella me dijo que eso era. Ah, ¿Quién era tu compañera? Vamos a ver, era Vane, Lisette. Uh -huh. Ok, está bien. Entonces Lisette entendió lo mismo que vos. Cabal, entendimos lo mismo. Está bien, está no, bien. Es que yo sí le había entendido que eran cinco preguntas. Ajá. Que le tenía que hacer a ella y ella a mí. Correcto. Ajá. Ok, pero, pero no lo hiciste. No. Me llega, entendí, pero lo ignoré. Eso, eso, Vane. <ríe> hey, it's okay, Vane. No problem. All right. Let's see another partner. Diana ask Mario. Mario, when did you used to live? In your title. Repeat, please. When, when did you used to live? Ah, no, perdón. Where, where did you used to live? Ah, yes. <laughs> Ya está muerto. I don't even understand my letter. It's okay. Que okay, me repite la pregunta, por favor. Where did you used to live? I live, I live used to in Ilopango. I used to live. I, I used, used to, to live, live in Ilopango. In, in Ilopango. Good. Mario, ask Eric. Uh, what sport did you used to in your childhood? You used to? In your childhood? No. It's oh, in childhood. No, no, no. It's, it's okay in childhood, but it's necessary activity. What sport did you used to? What sport? Did you used to? You used to in your That's... childhood. No, no. It's necessary no? activity, Maro. Did you used to watch? Did you used to play? Did you used to? Oh, uh, what uh, sports play? Okay. Did you did, used to in your childhood? No, no. What sports did you used to play in your childhood? Did you used to play? Okay. Mario, ask Eric. What sport did you used to play in your childhood? Good. El verbo se me olvidaba. It's okay. It's okay. That's, that's why we practice. It's good. That's why we practice. Go ahead, Eric. Eric, you okay? Hey, teacher. What happened? Se te fue no, la señal. Hello. Hello. Okay, me tocó con Kevin, pero solo le hice pero, una pregunta pero, y la otra me la voy a inventar. <laughs> sí, pero, pero creo que, que estaba soñando o escuchando otra cosa porque Mario te preguntó y no le contestaste. No, es que estaba con Kevin, no con sí, Mario. Pero, sí, yo sé. Por eso mismo, Mario te ah. preguntó a ti. Ajá. Ah, ok, Mario. ahí no, 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 ahí está. Ok. No, 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 no problem, it's ok, it's ok. Go ahead, Mario, ask again, ask okay. Eric again. What sports did you use to play in your childhood? Uh, I use... So... I... I used to uh, Mario Bros. So, so activity. I used to 
Ah, I used to play. I used to play in Mario Bros. Correct. Good. All right. Eric, ask Monica. Um, Monica, uh, what sport did you used to practice? Practice. Mm -hmm. I think Monica escaped. Monica? Okay, Eric, go ahead. Ask Kevin. Kevin, uh, what sport did you use to practice it? Good, only pronunciation, practice. I used to practice the soccer. Okay, good, Kevin. All right, Kevin, ask him. Uh, ask Lisette. Sorry? Ask Lisette Castillo. Lisette, what movie did you use to watch? I used to watch... Um, Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, okay. Movie. Good. It's okay. Thank you, Lisa. Good. I used to watch. Okay, guys. Acuérdense, la diferencia es que I used to es solía, no que lo vi. No vi Spider-Man. Solía ver Spider-Man. Es diferente. Es una acción repetitiva. Por ejemplo, los niños solían ver una película, como muchos ven Shrek, Aladdin. Hay una película. Eso es lo que se refiere cuando dice I used to, right? I used to play. Ahora que ya entendemos un poco mejor, vamos otra vez a practicar con el compañero. Five questions, five answers. Lo que queremos hacer esta segunda vez es mejorar nuestra fluidez. No queremos hablar como robots. No queremos estar. What sports did you used to play? Queremos un poco más fluido. No tiene que ser rápido. Fluidez no es de ser rápido. Es de hacerlo sin tener las pausas. Es hacerlo sin tener esos momentos de que estamos pensando. Entonces, What food did you use to eat? What movie did you use to watch? Eso vamos a hacer. Five questions, five answers. Las respuestas, igual que las preguntas, vamos a enfocarnos en ser fluido. It's okay? That, it's okay? It's okay. 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 Lisette, it's okay? It's okay. Okay, perfect. Vane, it's okay. It's okay. Excellent. Let's go then. Thank you. 
Okay, ready? All right, Vanessa Carolina, ask Mario Barahona. What object did you like to call it? Ah, remember, not like we are practicing, used to. Used, used to. Used what to. object? Did you use to call it? Used to activity. You need the activity. Um, play, play college. La segunda palabra que dijo no la entendí. What qué? ¿Qué objetos te gustaba coleccionar cuando What era? objects? Uh, ah. ¿Y cómo se dice coleccionar en inglés? En... Collect. Collect. Ok, one more time. What object did you use to collect? Ya voy, Papa Pérez. <laughs> It's ok. What object did you use to collect? Vanessa Carolina? What object did you use to collect? No, 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 no tenga pena, no tenga pena. Así es como vamos mejorando la pronunciación. Cuando usted tiene pena de hablar, así no va a mejorar la pronunciación. 
está en el chat por si acaso lo necesita visualizar cómo se escribe para decirlo. Ahí está en el chat. Nuevamente. What object? Object. Object. Yes. Object. What object did you use to college? I didn't use I didn't use to uh, object collect. I didn't use to collect. Object. Collect object. Okay. Good. Thank you, Mario. All right. Thank you, Vanessa. Mario, ask Diana. Me voy a levantar un ratito. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Mario. Ask uh, Diana. What games did you use to play in your childhood? Mm -hmm. I Mika, escondelero. <laughs> <laughs> I used to play hide and seek. Good, um, very good. Basketball. Good, Diana, ask Eric. Eric, uh, how many sports did you use to practice? Mm -hmm. It's sport disorder. Yes, sports. Mm -hmm. Um. I I do use to volleyball. So 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 so. I, 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 I used I to use play. I used to uh -huh. I used to play volleyball. Thank you, Eric. ¿Qué fue la pregunta que entendiste que te hizo Diana? ¿Qué deporte? ¿Cuántos? ¿Cuántos? Ah. Preguntó cuántos. Uh -huh. Ok. Diana, ¿lo puedes decir otra vez para que Eric escucha cómo se dice cuántos? How many sports did you use to practice? Eh, teacher, ahí cómo tendría que, que responder. Lo mismo que hice, pero en vez de el deporte, I, la cantidad. Ah, uh, I used to. Uh, one, Sorry, I, I used to uh, play mm -hmm. three, three sports. Woo! Excellent, Eric. Excellent. Así es. Así es. Así vamos mejorando. Tranquilo. Así vamos mejorando. Excellent. All right. Eric, ask Lisette. 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 What kind? What Uh -huh. Go ahead, Eric. Go ahead. Ask Lisette. Okay. Lisette. What food did you use to uh, as a child? Good, but change. What food did you use to eat? What food you used to eat as a child? Okay. Eat pupusas. Repeat. O, o sea yeah. que ya, ya no comes pupusas. No. <laughs> sí. Ah, acuérdense. ¿Qué significa used to? Used to es solía. Uh -huh, o sea que ya pero... no lo haces. Ah, ya no se hace. Uh -huh. I used to. I used to. Eat. Um, rice. Okay, right. It's okay. Anything. Candy. I used to eat candy. I used to eat uh, maruchan. What? I don't know. Anything. <laughs> okay. Good. Lisette, ask Kevin. Ask Kevin. Kevin, what book did you read? Remember, used to. We want to use used to. I used... Wait, 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 Kevin. Wait. Lisette, repeat the question. What book did you use to read? Correct. I used to eat macarrones. Macarrones? Yes, spaghetti. Macarrones? Spaghetti. Kevin, ¿qué pregunta entendiste que te hizo Lisette? 
Food? No, 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 no. No food, no food. No food. Books. Books. Yes, books. Sorry? In the chat. In the chat. Books. Ah, okay. Read. Uh-huh. Uh, I read the... Uh, I used to read the uh, syllabi. Okay. There you go. Exactly. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's for the... It's the noise in the house. It's... It's okay. in my office. In your office. It's a party in your office, Kevin. It's a party in your office. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, very good. Now we are going to practice used to in the platform. Now in the platform, 1.14, you select is the correct form, which is the correct form or the way to answer with used to. For this activity, is not long, only, only three minutes with our partners. Read and select 1.14, okay? 1.14. Okay, we ready? Number one, Eric, number one, what is correct? Option. 
correct is uh, did you did you used to worry about money when you were younger okay okay thank you eric thank you all right lisette what is number two did you used to follow politics five years ago the number three lisette oh no sorry they used to follow hey, sorry number two number two or number one lisette uh, number number one number one uh, sorry and, and eric i'm sorry is the is number three or number two or and uh, number for me number two teacher. number two okay okay no problem no problem kevin what's number three kevin Kevin, number three. Sería la. Uh, one. What do you use to care about when you were younger? Okay. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Vanessa Carolina, number four. Did you used to play when you were a teenager? A teenager. Teenager. Okay. So, which one? Number two. Number two. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Very good. All right. Excellent answer. You see, is correct. Number four. Number three is correct. Number two is correct. And number one is correct. Excellent. Any questions? No? No. Oh, good. It's good. So now we complete lesson one. We complete section one. Oh, we are going to read the idea for section two only for an idea only for the idea all right so section two and uh, let's see who who would like to read who would like to read the objective no no volunteers oh okay mario barahona thank you the victim excellent <laughs> <laughs> Learn how to describe problems in English using a using count and non count nouns. By the end uh, of the class, you learn how to describe problems in a serious thing. Phrases mm -hmm. like too many, too much, less, fever, and now and more. You'll also learn about common non nouns, include water, oxygen, English traffic, milk, soccer, sunshine, etc. And understand how to tell if, tell if a noun is called non-count in English or comprehension of the exercise include. Thank you, Mario. Thank you very much. Let's repeat the pronunciation, fewer. fewer. Fewer, okay, fewer. Good, enough. Enough. Good, and comprehension. Comprehension. Mm -hmm. Comprehension. Very good, Mario, very good, excellent. So in English, on Monday, we are going to begin with count and non-count. ¿Han escuchado estos términos antes? Count and non-count? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. And what is count and non-count? Example non-counts is a uh, pen. Water. Or rice. Rice. Oil. Coffee. 
coffee, oil, sugar. rice, water, water, water sugar. milk, sugar, milk, chocolate, choco chocolates, chocolate, 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 chocolate. Mm -hmm. chocolate. beers, beers. Okay, good, very good. What is the difference? Is you are correct. You are excellent, guys. Excellent. In English, no es que si se cuenta o no se cuenta. En inglés tiene que ver que cómo se escribe. Si la palabra tiene dos formas, o sea, tiene una forma singular y plural, se considera count. Si la palabra solo tiene una forma de escribirse, entonces se considera non-count. Eso es la diferencia en inglés. Algo que solo tiene una forma, por ejemplo, leche, milk, no es count, es solo non-count, porque no hay otra forma. A eso se refiere, no tanto de contar uno, dos, tres, cuatro, sino que si no hay otra forma de escribirlo, ese es non-count. Porque no puede decir, ah, voy a tomar leches. Solo lo mismo que en inglés, no puede decir milks. Solo existe una forma, milk. El día lunes, eso es lo que vamos a practicar. Si les queda tiempo o tienen chance el fin de semana, les recomiendo que vean el video de count y non-count. Y les va a dar muchos ejemplos de cosas que son count y non-count. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Thank you for connecting. Thank you. Yo sé que fue difícil día viernes conectarse, okay. pero le agradezco mucho el esfuerzo. And have a good weekend. I see you on Monday. Thank you. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.